Hey guys, Dan Carr here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Hitech's filter holder system. Now I have here the modular 100mm system, so I'm going to talk you through all the, the various parts of the system. Now um, on the right hand side here we have the adapter ring. Now this is a 77mm ring, so um, basically what you do is you use this thread here, 77mm, screw this onto the front of your lens, and then this acts as the mount for the holder itself. So the way that the holder attaches is with this little thumb screw right here. Now if you're looking at this system chances are you're probably contemplating either a Lee holder system or perhaps uh, a Cockin P or, or Z Pro system and they all have different ways of holding the filters onto the camera. Um, this is quite a nice way to do it you have to really crank pretty hard on this knob though. Um, what I've noticed is, as you can, you probably can't see too well, but where the little thread comes through, it doesn't extend very far past uh, the maximum once it's screwed in. So you have to crank on it pretty hard, but it does stay in there and uh, it has an advantage over the Lee system. Um, the Lee system has a similar thing where you have an attachment on the lens, uh, but the Lee one, you pop this out and it's kind of spring loaded and it clips in. Uh, but you can catch that on things, you know, if you're walking with uh, the, the holder on the camera and the camera's on a tripod and you catch it on a branch or something, uh, then with the Lee one, this can spring out and the whole thing can fall off. That doesn't really happen with this one, which is nice. And uh, with the P and the Z Pro systems from Kokin, well, those ones, those ones are slightly different. Again, they have an attachment on the lens and then this whole thing slides on and off. Um, this, I would say, is probably... You know, it, it, it's not quite as easy to get on and off as the, the Lee system, but uh, it, it's more secure in my opinion, so it's quite nice. Um, you'll notice as well that this the main part of this holder is actually aluminum, so it's really sturdy. Um, it's not too heavy though either, so you're not going to be too worried about taking this with you. And uh, it is a modular system, so all these things come apart. Basically, you have little thumb screws here, and you pop these, pop all these off, and then on the top here we have their optional uh, 105 millimeter threaded adapter. Um, now, what what we do with this is you take something like the high tech 105 millimeter polarizing filter. If you want to pop this on the front, so you have your drop in filters behind in those different stages, and then you pop the polarizer on the front. Now, uh, again, that method has its, its pros and its cons. You do get a little bit of vignetting uh, with the wide angles, with the super wide angles, but you get uh, easy access to rotating the, the polarizer. So, uh, you know, it depends what kind of lens you're using really as to whether that's going to be a system that you want to try out. But uh, if you don't want that, then uh, you basically, as I said, you want to do these screws and the whole thing pops apart and you can put in different stages here. So it actually comes with um, all kinds of different uh, spare screws and spare uh, little nuts to hold it all together. But uh, these are the, the additional stages that you can get and you can just stack them all up. Uh, you can actually have three different stages and the 105 millimeter adapter on the front there. Um, there's a spacer in the bottom here. I've got two stages on a spacer. Now, you would want to use a spacer if you have uh, something like Hitex 10 stop uh, Pro ND, which is actually a 4mm filter. If we just grab this out. Um, so it's, uh, it's a, a 10 by 10 filter, um, but it's 4mm thick, un unlike uh, all of their, their regular filters, like these ND filters, which are just 2mm thick. So. It comes with a spacer, um, allows you to put one 4mm in there if you want. And uh, as I said, you can stack up up to three different filters and put the polarizer on front. So uh, I've been using this for a few weeks now, and I think the main problem that I've had so far is, uh, is vignetting with um, using this particular adapter. Uh, there is, this is a standard 77mm adapter. Um, there is what they call a wide angle adapter, which will allow you, I, I guess it's, I guess it's lower profile. Um, I don't really know why you wouldn't ever want 
that one. I mean, if you ask me, they should they should all be lower profile. Um, I don't know why there's two different variations, and I'll have to get my hands on the wider one to give it a try. Uh, at the moment, when I'm using uh, two different stages in here, um, and I take the polarizer off the front, it, I start to get vignetting at about 24 millimeters. Um, that's on my 5D Mark III. And if I put the polarizer on the front, then vignetting comes in about 28 millimeters. Um, if you put three stages on there, well, then it starts to become quite tricky and you're definitely going to see quite a lot of vignetting if you try and put the polarizer on there. Um, it, it's just, as you can see, you, you, it's just going to start getting uh, pretty pretty thick by then. But I don't know uh, why you would ever really need to have three filters and a polarizer on the front there. So this, this setup I have right here, two stages and the polarizer is about as thick as, as I've wanted to go. Um, I really like that it comes with all the spare little screws and things like that and it gives you the options to to put things in and out as you see fit. Um, it's no problem at all to carry a little bag full of extra bits um, in my filter bag and you can make adjustments in the field. Uh, the threads, the little knobs on here are, are tool free uh, which is great because some of the other holders they're, they're not and you need to take a little screwdriver so that's fantastic. And um, having this type of uh, holder as well means that you can you can rig up a couple of your lenses with these these are relatively cheap so you can kind of have things ready to go in the field um, so yeah overall I've been I've been quite impressed with it um, I believe they they do sell a kit which comes with the 105 millimeter adapter and then there's also a kit that comes without it and then you can buy this separately uh, the adapter um, is a plastic adapter which uh, is a bit of a shame it, this is aluminum, the adapter rings, the, the back plate is aluminum, but then they have this plastic 105mm adapter here. I wish this was aluminum as well. Uh, I've had a few problems uh, getting the thread from the circular polarizer threaded uh, and seated correctly into these. And I, that's really just a function of having a plastic thread. I mean, um, no no really solid products these days that I've ever seen have, have been made with a plastic thread so um, that is a, a bit of an issue a bit of jiggling around and a bit of wiggling and I've always managed to get it on there but I rarely managed to get it seated in first time and when you're handling a an expensive um, item like a, a circular polarizer of that size uh, it would just give me a bit more confidence if I were able to grab the polarizer, screw it in, get it in first time and make sure it's nice and snug. So that's really my my main complaint but then uh, a lot of people won't be using this on the front anyway so um, for using regular filters, uh, 4x4s, 4x6s like these just in the the other stages, yeah it's worked really well and I've been uh, been quite impressed with it. So uh, check out the review on the blog, I'm going to post up a ton of photos of uh, the 10 stop ND and uh, all the other different filters from the high-tech system.